Well, hello. I'm just testing YouTube out. I'm trying to figure out how to do a live stream properly. Um, so, what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm just going to live stream my uh, live stream my uh, development efforts of the disk frame. As you can see, I got R Studio open here. Uh, it's running R three point six three. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, let me get to the streaming. Um, so I don't know how this works. I'm doing it for the first time. So I'm just going to increase the font a little bit. If you don't have a good computer, uh, I'm streaming at 100, 386 LP, just because that's a, that's where I'm most effective at developing a program. If that doesn't work for you, too bad. Okay, so. Da. Okay. What am I going to do? Where was I up to? Okay, uh, let's go to the terminal. I just learned this command the other day, git branch, which I think is a stupid thing to do because I already know I'm on development branch, but whatever. Okay. I believe I'm trying to support tidy table, so let's go git checkout feature tidy table. Okay, what was I doing? Okay, okay. Okay. Huh. I think I need to go to the tidy tables uh, framework and see what's happening. I'm exporting a bunch of things: dt filter, dt mutate. I'm going using my function create chunk mapper. Uh, okay. All of these things seem to be correct. Okay, so I don't know what's why it's not why it was not working the other time. So um, I usually just click document. Oh, by the way, if I you know my flows are you know not optimal, uh, please do tell me in the comments below. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing most of the time. Even then, uh, I, I believe I'm probably in the top twenty five percent of our developers. Uh, actually our users I wouldn't say I'm in the top 25 for developers because uh, you know there's only about 6,000 uh, our package uh, our package authors they have published on CRAN I believe so I wouldn't say I am uh, top 25% out of the 6,000 uh, I think the estimate was there's like a half million R users in the world if not more so I would guess that I'm in the top 25% out of that half million people also because just because I I have my package published online so let me check uh, if it's still being published because uh, uh, my package was taken down taken off CRAN the other time um, which is not a pleasant experience okay um, so I'm a bit paranoid so I always come here and check the status are oh, okay okay great and uh, as you saw I'm often distracted while I'm developing I saw a message on Twitter so I decided to go um, okay I asked a question on uh, on Twitter to Linden frames which which is also used to be located in Australia in Western Australia has now moved to near London um, it's, it's, you know, due to coronavirus or whatever, nothing to do at home, so it decides to ask people on Twitter to ask him questions about auto diff, which is a topic that I got a little bit interested in because it seems pretty cool, uh, and it's a uh, a bit all about math. So I got a math degree, in case you didn't know. So I wanted to check it out. Okay. Okay, there's no good book on auto diff. Maybe it's because it's quite new. All right. 
he doesn't write price them, so he doesn't look at on the outside. Right now, probably works better than Psycho. Psycho is going to be full language. It pure subset makes it easier. Okay. Source code transformation and knowing you have backend seems like it should help a lot. Okay, so I did ask a pretty interesting question. My question was, what do you think about Jax versus Psycho? So I'm not really sure if this is pronounced Jax, but it's JX. So I figured maybe it is. Uh, funny thing was I did search for Jax tutorial and uh, guess what turned up? Yes. League of Legend character. Uh, of course, you have to uh, type in Python uh, to get the proper tutorial. So it's composable transformation of Python plus NumPy program. So you can differentiate Python through Python and Py program. That seems pretty cool. All right, um, but I I don't have time to look at that. Uh, I got too many things to look at. Okay, uh, so that's you can see you now. I got distracted. But anyway, back to here. Uh, I built, I built it successfully. So I'm gonna just test it. Uh, of course, I uh, just gonna go here. Okay, that seems fine. Run the tests. Oops, it's already one failure. So, uh, so annoying. Okay, but uh, I'll just let it finish running and see what happens. Uh, Oh, so maybe that's not a failure because now I have um. Okay, so it's, so it's four of them are skipped. Five failed. All right, let's just see what happens. So normally, if I just run this, excuse me, uh, it runs fine. Could not find function dt select. So perhaps the best way to do this. Um. Again, distracted by Twitter. Type inference is hard for Psycho for a number of reasons. Some tied to Judas design, others tied to optimizer's design, others tied to Psycho, just needs someone work in the right areas. Sorting this really will take time. Um, I mean, it, it does beg the question. Does it mean that uh, you know Julia may not be the you now poster child for AD uh, that I've been led to believe? Uh, so maybe Psycho, you know, needs to be uh, reworked, or Julia needs to be reworked, or Julia needs a 2.3, or 2.0. Okay, I don't know what it is, but whatever. Uh, let's look at what's happening. Nope, nothing new. So this is 3 slash n, so it may not end, so I'm just going to minimize it. Uh, so to it sounds like to test this properly, I need to do a library tidy table. Um, in case you didn't know, tidy table is a uh, is a library for um, using deploy deploy R like syntax with uh, data tables, um, and. Uh, and I'm trying to implement that for this frame. And guess what? It seems to have worked. This is beautiful. Um, so um, that's worked. Uh, I've implemented a tidy select, mutate, and filter. So uh, this one I have skipped because I haven't implemented DT rename yet. So um, let's try filter. That seemed to have worked as well. Ah, that's beautiful. Um, let's look at what. Yes. So you see here, instead of using filter, I use DT filter, and it seems to have worked perfectly fine. So I'm going to copy this library because it does uh, require tidy table to work. Uh, you know the beautiful thing about uh, test-driven development is I just write a bunch of tests. If they all pass. I'm going to uh, submit the library to cram. But of course, they may not pass, um, in which case, I might need to do a bit more. Um, actually, let me test it. 
So set up this frame, of course, will uh, set up the disk frame to use multiple workers. Uh, so let's see that worked. That worked beautifully. Okay. One more. If I was doing AD in Python, I would certainly use Jax. Eventually, Psycho will be more impressive than anything else, like Tapenade, when performance edge cases get closed and mutation support is done, which is totally doable. Not that I know what these performance edge things are, or what mutation support is. I believe mutation support could be things like you have an array, uh, you change your value, theoretically you can reverse that um, in the automatic differentiation sense. It will, it will be very cool for new reasons. Hmm. So this is one to watch. Uh, it's very interesting because I, I never used Python uh, in any serious way until uh, until I've got my current job, so of course I try to solve some online, you know, interview problem with using Python. Uh, sometimes I, I, I manage to solve the problem, but it's, it's just not, you know, as as good as if I'm using R, or sometimes Julia. Um, actually, my R skills are better than Julia skills, but I, I. You know, find that using Python was harder than both of them. Uh, not because Python is hard, but because I don't know as much Python. So that's that. Okay. All right. So that's that's the end. It's four out of four. It would be funny if he decides to say something new and go five out of four. Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen. So that's it. That's Twitter for for a while. Um, so let's try this. Um, oh, seems to have worked. Seems to have worked. Seems to have worked. Seems to have worked. So I'm gonna get rid of these because technically they're not needed. Okay. So this is beautiful. Um, I wonder why it failed. Okay, so ah, that's right. This is when it fails. Hmm. It's interesting. What's value? Value is not found anymore, but of course value was, was done here. So let me start again. B B is a disk frame. That, 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 that. Okay. So value. Whoa. Uh, so either it's a bug in uh, in uh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to use the case when, uh, but it doesn't work. So this is from the ply R. Um, okay. Detected a syntax error. So um, it can't handle that. Um, well, of course, it used to be able to handle that. It used to be able to handle that. So mutate does work. A DT mutate doesn't work. Okay, so now I'm wondering what is the difference between mutate and DT mutate. Let's get mutate. Um, I just create chunk mapper, deploy a mutate. So DT mutate. I mean, the only thing is that's different is I'm using as disk frame because of false here. Where's the another one? I'm using this claim equals just true by default. So what if I, uh, you know, just to test things out, what if I just remove that and uh, yeah, so now the team you take this frame is using the same settings. Run that. 
okay it still doesn't work so it must be it must be detecting something that's that's an issue so try this again it also doesn't work cannot find function fn this is a little bit odd um, it is a little bit odd so I believe I tested this before and it and it worked so um, function fn but of course fn is defined here so um, if I change it to mutate then it works um, so it's time to go to github and check my previous comment I believe a comment put a comment there to say um, I gave an example of why things worked Um, that's my okay so I had this example f function equals to a and b library mutate tidy table and this seems to work so um, let's try it start something new the so function is defined dt mutate Hmm, that's maybe that's the problem. I said dt mutate. I should set dt mutate disk frame. Um, run that. Okay. B equals to. Yeah. So it doesn't work anymore. Um, now, now it also doesn't work. Hmm. So why did I say it used to work? I'm now perplexed. Is it because my packages let's see if my packages are up to date or not? Hmm. Well, yeah, let's up update that. Let's go update my dplyr package. Hopefully they'll work. Um, nope. Okay. I updated my dplyr using R three point six three. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. So it worked. So is it because I had run the setup disk frame? You are on multiple workers. Is it going to fail? Okay, so it seems to have worked. So it might be a bug with dplyr, the old version of dplyr. But uh, you know, I, what I like to do is, you know what, just just restart it. Restart the session of R. Change that to this frame. And run that. Actually, I don't need this. Run that, run that. Make a disk frame. So value value is a disk frame. Could not find function dt mutate, so I need to uh, library tidy table. see yeah it doesn't work um, I really don't know why so let's let's have a look at what's happening here it just does use method dt mutate in the tidy table environment um, that's all it does so so the class of value it's disk frame, so we should just call the dt mutate dot disk frame function, uh, which comes from the disk frame package, right? Uh, which is not exported for some reason. Um, okay, so uh, maybe maybe it's because um, 
I uh, oh, actually I did import from tidy table DT mutate so it should know what it's doing and so that's not really the issue here so let's try again um, I will just turn that off turn it on A new disk frame now let's let's just see what actually happens here that seems to have worked it's just that when I collect something seems to be wrong going wrong here so if I do this one it doesn't recognize it that's that's a shame so if I close that and I restart it uh, oh. So the issue seems to be running some background version of uh, disk frame. So let me just um, restart this. So the issue seems to be loading using a background version of this to, to run the code. So it cannot detect what FN is inside of this function that seems to be the central issue here okay so um, turn that on dot disk frame so um, because it this works with uh, the plier so I suspect it's to do with the implementation of tidy tables DT mutate. As you can see here, it works perfectly fine until I actually, let me just turn that off as well. Just restart the whole R session and then run that. So that works perfectly fine. But the moment I turn on set up this frame, uh, then it will not work. So I think it's to do with the how the multiple sessions of R's are interacting with each other, um, which is not good. Yes. So that's that's confirmed. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this part of the code and I call it the F four for no particular reason, just because I saw the number three, and I want to inspect what's inside the F4. Um, so a disk frame consists of a bunch of things. So usually when I run this, it tries to detect, you know, what are the things that are available. So you see, clearly it detects that in the global, there's this FN thing. Um, so let me, let me just restart this session again. I'm suspecting maybe, maybe if I type FN, so it's, generally not defined and uh, when I run uh, when I run this frame tidy table and I run this uh, I run value first generate a disk frame I run that and look at the structure of this you can definitely see that um, that it's able to figure out that oh actually what I'm expecting to see is the function called fn being captured as a global so currently it's not it's it's been it's been captured this language tilde fn num num thing in my quote dot 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 so maybe that's why it doesn't it doesn't capture it properly for some reason so if i contrast that with a df5 where i'm just running the dt mutate version 
and I'll just look at the structure of df5. I mean, it's the same. There's no. There shouldn't be any differences. So, oh. I mean, okay. Well, well anyway, no problem. Collect. So when I collect, it cannot find it. So let me turn that off. Oh, of course it can't find it. I haven't defined it. All right. So so before I do anything stupid, um, what I'm gonna do is just make a copy of this. Start afresh. I definitely need all of these. I definitely FN define. I definitely don't. Maybe I do need that. Maybe, maybe I don't. I don't need that. Okay, I don't need any of this junk. So what I'm going to do is just start from the beginning. This claim table, define the function, skip the development, and I'll run that and look at it structure wise. Okay, see, it's if I define fn, it's definitely it's definitely able to capture, understand that you know, data for eval tidy. I need this function which is a and b uh, defined. Okay, fn is defined in this global environment. Okay, so let's see if there's any difference if I call the normal version. Let's see if there's any additional information that I get. Um, I mean, it's difficult to say, but I can't, I don't notice anything different. So, uh, so when I call collect, okay, that will work. Also, if I do collect the F5, that will work, okay, so that's all fine. I mean, they, they obviously both work, okay. Um, but if I turn this bad boy on, it will now try to do things in parallel. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe I just haven't up. Oh, the apply R is still not updated, and it's really annoying. So I'm gonna upload all of that. You know, sometimes it's just not very reliable. Um, a bunch of things doesn't. Uh, uh, do you want to come? I usually say don't compile because it takes forever to, to compile some of these things. I don't know what cross talk is. Okay. Okay, he's saying that uh. Uh, there's a compact but nice part on auto diff in the book numeric optimization. Okay. Okay. That's me distracted by Twitter again. Um, okay, so anyway, I'm still installing packages, so I haven't, you know, wasted any time. So that that tweet came at just the right time. Okay, okay. Oops. Okay, uh, I'm just messing with you. Uh, actually, I'm not. I just don't know what I'm doing. You know, I'm, okay, well, um, I still can't install the pliers. you know, just, I, I have to have the latest one, okay, just please bear with me. This is really getting annoying. No, I don't want to keep restarting my R session. Okay, so let's see what's happening. Uh, problem removing this okay so maybe I need to restart this whole thing so let me just close it down start it again okay and install the plier 
I, I just need to install the latest version. I just can't not not do it. I keep getting permission denied, so maybe I need to delete this bad boy. Okay. Zero zero lock. Can't find it. Can't do it. I don't know what's happening. Permission denied. Um, cannot remove prior. No, that's that's really annoying. So, what I might do is I close it. Okay. Make sure nothing is interfering. Open that up. And just manually delete the prior. The whole thing. Sorry, you're gone. Open it up again. Okay, now I don't even have the ply R. So, uh, obviously nothing to update, but uh, uh, I'm just gonna install. The, actually, this is really weird, because normally I just type that and install it, but yes. So I have the latest version of the ply R. No more asking, asking me to update. Okay, so let's try again. Untitled 2, I set up all my libraries. Do a function, do a setup. Set up my disk frame, run that, structure it, let's have a look. Uh, it detected this function thing, that seems fine. But when I collect it, it's gonna go wrong, basically. Unless, of course, the plier fixed it, but it doesn't look like it. So, exactly, almost exactly the same code. Uh, it's, I'm using the mutate version. So, let's see if there's anything different. I mean, if it's different, it's not obvious. Um, you know, I might have to do some diff tools to figure out what's going on, but everything seems fine. So, um, you know, I really don't know what could make them so different. Um, but of course, uh, when I collect on this, it works. Okay, so, uh, uh, and I, I think the, the problem the problem was, if I just don't use the disk frame, I use the data frame normally, that works, that's fine. So it's the interaction of disk frame and this guy. Let's just look at the implementation. It's just very simple, a uh, very simple implementation here. Um, okay, I got an idea. Um, so let's try value, but equal to data frame. That seems to have worked. Um, but what if I do a set? dt value and library there is absolutely no difference um, okay well that that can't be the explaining what's going on so I might have to um, trace through collect to see what's happening okay so I'm gonna go collect collect this frame okay it's parallel then it has to do go through this but parallel is almost always true so um, so usually what happens here is I just turn this off, 
put this back on. Warning here. Turn it back on. So I just call the map DFR, uh, which we we'll call get chunk. Um, so maybe an easier way to see is to get chunk. Um, actually, yeah, four. Uh, forget about that. It's meant to have six chunks, okay? Um, okay, so see if I can get chunk F four one. df4 so get chunk seems to be working um, get chunk 2 seems to be working get chunk 3 seems to be working 4 5 6 so all 6 of them seems to be working hmm Get chunk is not a problem, okay? It's only when I do get chunk in parallel that seems to be the problem. That's what makes it so hard to debug this thing because when it's in parallel mode, you absolutely have no idea what's going on. Um, uh, all right, so anyway, let's try that. So I'm gonna just save that. Um, Collect EF four. Yeah, so uh, the moment I turn off parallel mode, it starts working. So I turn this off, turn this back on. Um, you know. um, yeah, stop, stops working. So the problem is with parallel. Okay. Let's see what happens. So let's let's see what's happening here. Four. I mean, just just as an experiment. What if I just do this? Yeah. You know, I know. Does it work? It still doesn't work. Okay, that's not the problem. Let's look at all the so I'm just gonna have a good look at this and see if I can figure out what's going on. Data for tidy eval, this is one of one. Fn is a function of one. Okay. Future global global list. Okay. Fn is not defined. Okay, so this one. What's so different here? Why does it work for this guy but not this guy? I'm just trying to do my best to pay attention to what's going on. Um, see if I can figure out anything. I 
mean, as far as I can tell, they're virtually identical. Actually, I can tell there's a difference. The packages was correctly detected as tidy table, and this one correctly detects it as dplyr. And um, what does that actually mean? Description. I mean, the only difference between these two variables uh, packages is one I have it in depends. The other I have in suggests. So, I mean, if I put it into depends, is it going to work or not? I mean, that would be really weird. I mean, let's just try it. If it is, I, I don't know how to resolve it. I, I just put tidy table into depends. Uh, I want to just document, document it. Um, okay, and I'm just gonna clean and rebuild. Okay, um, I have to s close it down. Now at work, I'm using Ubuntu, um, so maybe. I just need to bite the bullet and you know get rid of Windows because it's getting more and more annoying. To be fair, installing packages on Linux is also quite annoying because uh, on Windows most of the packages are pre-compiled, but on Linux it's a bit more annoying because yeah, most of them are not compiled so. Uh, okay, so I compiled it. I mean, it's kind of funny if that turns out to be the difference, which I don't think it should be. Uh, run that. Yeah, it doesn't actually work. So I'm guessing it's probably something to do with. Um, uh, how how it's coded up inside which I so let's I mean maybe you know let's have a look at the apply a new tape let's see what it does okay well while I'm doing that I'm just gonna move it back to suggest just just in case I forget and then it's another dependency to my packages all right done that uh, actually while while I've done that uh, load all so I get all the goodness loaded back in. Um, so I mean, it's also very simple. It just uses the mutate method. Um, mutate up this claim. I mean, that's all that there is actually. Um, chunk function. Okay, so uh, I am uh, I am unpacking the code as I go along here. So um, I think both function capture the global stuff pretty well. Um, okay. Hmm. I think it's got to do with how these things are how these things are done. So I wonder if this is gonna end up at this branch. So let's let's have a look. Do a chunk mapper. Okay, 
So let's try this. If I do manage to solve this, it will be like you know quite an achievement because nobody knows what's going on here.
to the main four pan three tall wing pato Okay, Sushi. Debbie is thinking. Okay, the wife is back from busy day. Ah, doi. Okay, so um, this seems to be working. Um, okay, I don't know what to do now. This seems to be working for sure. Um, so if I evaluate this, it says object num is not found. So it's trying to so it's trying to mutate this thing. Um, if I do it like that, it's fine, basically. Or if I do CCC equals to DT mutate. Okay, and then I do CCCC. A 
it still works so that's not a problem hmm why is it that if I do it like this then it complains okay Okay. Okay. And this is purely because uh, this is expanded. Okay. So this seems to be causing an error. What if I do this? Is it gonna give me the same error? Okay, let's try this. Uh, if I do this, and I do this guy, is gonna be oh, close to same. Et mutate. Okay. So code. The code is now dt mutate. And I eval code. Doesn't do anything. Okay, so that that seems to be uh, that seems to be the issue. So um, if I do it like this, eval tidy code. Okay, so uh, definitely an implementation difference. Uh, but I wonder what that might be. What is the what is the implementation? So maybe if I have to I have to look at this dt mutate dot. Maybe I have to look at tidy table. Okay, dt mutate dot tidy table data frame. Okay. Doing a DT mutate, so it compresses it to um, to that. Yeah, so maybe it was just trying to do it too eagerly, you know. Um, um, it's unpacking a bunch of things. Okay, that's definitely not it. Um, shallow so it's definitely to do with this this guy it's not really doing its thing so it's trying to unpack them but it doesn't try to carry it over okay so I honestly don't know what's what the situation is but uh, um, let's see if I can replicate this okay Let's see if I can replicate this. So I can send a bug report to the so my quote dot 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 MWE function dot 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 So what I'm gonna do is NWE uh, DT mutate. Okay. Calling in quotes. And I'm going to do DT mutate. Okay. That seems, that seems fine. You know, dot x equals to. Actually, I don't really care what dot x is. Just, just say data. Data equals to. Data frame num okay it goes to one to ten fn equals to function a and b a plus b okay so in quotes dot dot dots
So B equals to sum of num 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 not found. Okay, uh, mutate. It works okay. Okay, I found the problem. Um, it seems to be with the tidy table package. Um, I'm going to submit this NWE minimum working example to their website and it's probably to do with how the author has done the um, tidy evaluations. So um, and uh, I, I rather much rather that the author you know fix uh, this uh, instead of um, me trying to submit a PR to his package because I don't really think I should go through that code base um, because I'm not really familiar with it and there's other things that we are um, sort of better at so including writing more test cases for this frame so uh, I'm going to say tidy without tidy values with uh, induced by differences in the fire intake and Tidy table DT mutate. Okay. I think there is a difference between how the player treats code to code and how tidy table treats them. Um, uh, oh, where, where, where did my thing go? Okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna say is, um, This seems to be, this is a blocking issue uh, for integrating tidy table into with disk frame. See here, okay. So I'm gonna say, this gives an error the fire seems to be able to handle this correctly um, ID table seems to fail That should be an FN. That should be an FN. But I think the problem is not FN, it's just this whole thing. Um, this whole thing is a bit strange. Um, so that's that's not gonna work. Um, anyway, let me, as a due diligence, uh, I'm gonna check that if I change this to FN, it indeed does have issues. Yes. And Yep, okay, so that's, that's it. So I submit an issue. So uh, yeah, hopefully the author now can take a look. And uh, yeah, if once this bug is fixed, integration into this frame should be pretty straightforward. 
Okay, that's my stream today.